Hi everybody, I'm gonna show you an easy way to communicate and collaborate with people within the district, whether it's your colleagues, whether it's your team, your staff, whether it's someone from another campus or someone from another department, and it's called WebEx Teams, and it's right here on your desktop on your computer. So if you click on WebEx, you can actually not only chat with other people, you can also still make video chats. You can actually phone someone in and you can call right through your computer. You can also do this on your phone if you have a smartphone, if you download the app. But I'm going to take you along and show you all the icons, all the features, all the settings, and how to make this very useful and purposeful for you and um, your colleagues. So at the very top, you see your profile picture. And then you will have an outline around it. That indicates if you are active or if you're unavailable. So right now I am unavailable because it's red. If it's green, that means you're active. So if you click on it, you'll see your name, your profile picture, and right here under availability is where you can set that. So I have mine on do not disturb for 30 minutes. You can do it for an hour. You can do it for two hours. And if you are ready to be active and you're ready to be available for everyone, you can hit clear and that lets you know, that lets other people know that you are ready to be communicated with. So I'm gonna go ahead and put um, do not disturb for 30 minutes. You can set a status. You can choose a status um, if you want to let people know what you're doing. Maybe you're just out for a quick lunch break. You can also set a status right here just by clicking on set a status next to your icon. But going back to your icon, your profile picture, you can edit your profile. Here's where you can change your picture. You can change your display name. You can choose a cover image if you'd like um, and just make it customizable. So I'm going to go ahead and press save. Going back to my icon and then going under settings, this is kind of important right here. Um, under general, under sign in, if you want your WebEx to WebEx Teams to open up when you start your computer, just make sure to check mark that. If you don't, then just uncheck it. Under availability and status, you can let people know if you are active on WebEx. So it will tell people that you are active if you want them to let them know. You just simply make sure to check mark that. If you don't, you can just uncheck it. Your landing screen is what you see first every time you open WebEx. So this is just preference. If you want to see your messages first, just make sure to hit messaging. If you want to see your contacts first. So this is when you open up WebEx and what do you want to see first? So again, this is all preference on what you want to see. I want to see my messages first, so I'll make sure to click on that. And then you just hit save. All right, so going back to settings. Um, another important um, setting on here is your notifications. Um, when you are communicating with people, you will get notified. So you'll get a little notification up here that pops up and it will tell you, you know, who it's from and a, and a little preview of what that conversation's about. Of course, when you're teaching, um, you don't want your students to see what you're talking about, right? So you can hide those notifications by hitting um, off. Um, now, let's say you do, you know, if you do want your messages to be shown and you want your notifications on, you can actually choose a setting or you can choose the sounds for that notification. Um, but under messages, you can actually choose which notifications you want to be notified. So if you want all your messages to be popping up or maybe just the ones that you are mentioned in, or you can simply have them all off. People can still communicate with you. It's just you won't get that notification popping up. Um, so I'm going to just make sure mine is off right now since I am doing a presentation. But everything along here, you can kind of take a look. You can, you know, set the theme for your WebEx teams um, and all of this. Everything else is just kind of extra. You don't really need, I mean, you can see and play around with um, phone service. It's just your username. You can see your messaging, um, enable spell checking, any meetings. This will tell you your your WebEx site, your personal room, link, all of that. But just some of the key points is just under general. If you want your WebEx to open up when you start your computer, if you want that yes or no, just make sure to check mark that or not. Um, if you want people to know that you are available, just make sure to check mark that and what you wanna see first every time WebEx opens. And then of course, notifications. So when you are starting your class, 
and you are using your computer, just make sure to turn that off or just simply close that WebEx altogether um, if you just keep forgetting. So go ahead and click Save. The next one, that speech bubble, your messaging icon is where you'll see all of the conversations you are part of. So under all is all of the conversations, whether it's with one other person or uh, maybe with your team. You may have a group chat with just your team. You may have a group chat with um, a depart uh, another department from another campus, or maybe you know you have an all staff group chat. So you'll see all of your conversations here. Direct is all the conversations that are just one on one. So any conversations with you just that you have with just one other person. And then spaces is just another way to say group chat. So these are all of the group chats with more than one person. Um, let's say you have a list of conversations that, you're, that you have and you just can't find it. You can search it here. You can search the name and it will pop up. So if I type in this person, you just click on it and then it will pop up with all of our conversations. Um, the next icon down underneath the messaging icon, this is just your teams. So this is all the teams that you're a part of. So I'm part of the Thai team. The next one is your contact list. So if you want to save um, contacts or maybe add your favorite contacts, you can do it here. So just by clicking on add a contact, you can just search their name and you can just click on it and they, they're added. You can click X or sorry, click add. And then here you, you can see that they're added here. And it'll just be an easy way to either chat with them or to call them. You can create a group. So let's say this is my third grade team. You hit create and you can go ahead and just right click and then you can move to a group. So maybe your third grade team, move her to your third grade team. There you go. Um, under the phone icon, this is where you can actually phone call people within the district. So if you know their extension line, you can just simply dial their number here. You can use the keypad, you can use um, your keyboard as well. Um, you can also search their name and just hit the call button. If you hover your mouse over the phone icon, you can actually see what their number is as well. You can just click it and you can talk through your computer. Next one is your voicemails. You can see all the ones that you have not um, read or listened to. And you have your calendar. This is where you can actually start a meeting. You can join a meeting. So if you know the person's name, you can type their name and just hit join. You can schedule a meeting and then this will, all, this will also be where all your um, meetings are, all of your calendar. So now you kind of know some of the icons on the left side, I'm gonna show you how to start a conversation. So if you hit that plus sign, you can send a direct message to someone. So that means you're just sending a message to one person. So I'm gonna type in, there you go. There you go. And then you can start communicating here. Um, if you want to create a space. So creating a space just means you're creating a group chat. So you can give it a name. So I'm going to say staff and I can start adding everybody here. So that is how you do it. And you just hit create and then it will pop up like this. Um, another thing with the plus sign, you can make a phone call here. You can also add a contact and then you can schedule a meeting here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit cancel on all of this. So some of the uses again for WebEx Teams is, you know, just easy communication, makes it easy to collaborate. You can, again, you can send files, you can send gifts, you can make a phone call. If you're an admin or someone that needs to do an emergency meeting after school, this is a great way to do it. Again, you can have this app on your phone uh, to make it easy if you're on the go. If you have any questions about WebEx Teams, how to set it up, please contact your Thai for more information. I hope this video helps. Again, reach out to your Thai for additional questions, concerns, and comments about this, and have a great school year.